Welcome guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Tiger Academy. I'm Ravi Malhotra. Uh, welcome to the Fortinet series NSC4. This series is part of uh, Learn Cybersecurity with Ravi Malhotra, Fortinet NSC1 till NSC7. Okay. Uh, we have reached lecture number 12, Real Lab number 4. And uh, the objective of this lecture <coughs> is to teach you that how do you configure interfaces of the Fortinet firewall uh, and how do you configure the routing on the Fortinet firewall using the CLI as well as using the web console channel, right? So both the options will learn how to configure interfaces. Okay, let us move guys. So there are a couple of prerequisites uh, to this video. So the first prerequisite that you need to learn uh, is that you know the FortiGuard firewall virtual machine should be accessible its logical port 1 should be part of the management VLAN that means it should be part of 200.0 subnet access the FortiGuard firewall over a browser just use HTTP and ensure that you know the interfaces of the virtual machine are configured as per following VMware virtual adapters the objective of this lab is to configure interfaces and uh, as per the assigned VLAN configure default routing and then you should be able to ping all these VLAN IP addresses so that's an objective of this lab guys so let's do guys so this lab it says that configure interfaces okay so the first thing is that access the firewall over a browser on its management VLAN IP address. So in the last lecture, we have just finished creating a virtual machine. So let us log in. And let me show you the management IP show system interface question mark. Look at port, port 1. Here is port 1. It says 0000192.168.200.128. So the IP address is 200.128. Okay. I will open my browser and I'll connect to this firewall, right? 200.128. 192. All right. Let me hit it. All right. It's asking for credential. So guys, we have logged in to the web console of my Fortinet firewall version 6.4.3, okay? Uh, so check the, so, so this is done. My IP address is uh, 200.128, okay? Uh, then I'll click on the, then I'll click network tab I'll click to interfaces and I'll click on physical interface section okay so this is you see the network I'll expand it I'll go to interfaces I'll click over here and there you see physical interfaces okay network tab go to interfaces and then go to physical interfaces section double click on port 2 and configure as following okay I will expand physical interfaces this is port 2 I'll double click on this on the port 2 now let me configure this port 2 as per as per these uh, configurations its role is going to be WAN its role is going to be WAN okay its addressing mode is going to be manual its addressing mode is going to be manual so it is going to be 192 168 dot uh, 137 dot 138 slash 24 okay 
192.168.137.138/24 next is administrative access check http https ping ssh snmp telnet https ssh snmp ping and all that are uh, then receive LLDP should be enabled yes transmit LLDP should be VDOM that's right command should be ILL Tata ILL Tata status should be enabled and click OK very good so port number two is configured with this IP address all right so this whole section is I'll say done all right now let us configure other interfaces we'll double click on port 3 and configure as following okay so let me go to port number 3 now that's port number 3 port number 3 is going to be WAN again going to be WAN it is going to be addressing mode is going to be manual it is going to be 192 192 168 237.138 slash 24 237.128 and uh, HTTP SSH SNMP ping and it's so, alright these options are as it is and it is going to be ILL SIFI okay it is going to be ILL SIFI it is enabled I'll click on OK very good done very good this is done now let's do port 4 so port 4 is going to be I'll double click over here so port 4 is going to be role is going to be LAN its IP address is going to be 192.168.70.138 slash 24 70.138 slash 24 check all these things hmm? uh, that is as it is and give it to be like inside VLAN it is enabled click on OK all right so this is something we are learning right how to configure interfaces from the web console this piece is also done all right this piece is done <clears throat> in this section we'll we'll learn how to configure interfaces via CLI okay so it says that access virtual machine over either serial or SSH console that's I have right now I will access with my credentials configure port 5 as follows so we are now configuring port 5 it says that give a command config system interface config system interface then I'll to add it port 5 and then I'll do set IP 192.168.80.138 slash 24 then I'll give a command set allow access so set allow access HTTP HTTPS SNMP SSH telnet ping all that just hit enter give it a description set description DMZ port and that's all just give a command end very good you can give a command show system interface port 5 
and you can see the interface that we just configured you know 192.168.80.138 that's what we configured and this is done now we'll do it for port number six now okay same thing I'll do config system interface edit port six then I'll give a command set IP 10.1.20.138 slash 24 set allow access ping SSH SNMP HTTP HTTPS enter set description application port and then give a command and once it is configured you can give a command show interface eth show system show system interface port 6 done 10.1.20.138 all right so this is done guys this is also done that is also done this is also done so I hope guys you guys are enjoying the lab you're also doing it yourself these two things are done <clears throat> let me now move uh, to the next slide it says that how do you configure default routing on 40 gig firewall virtual machine via web console okay so for that we need to access the 40 gig firewall over a web browser okay click and expand network tab all right let me do that let me go to the network tab double click on static routes tab double click on static routes tab okay click on create new button with following new create new okay with following destination click on subnet button okay check that 0.0.0.0 slash 0.0.0.0 is being displayed in the box yes it is in the gateway address should be 137.1 192.168.137.1 its interface should be the moment you tab over here it will take uh, port 2 because port 2 belongs to 137 subnet comments leave some comments default gateway for Tata ISP internet lease line its status is enabled and just click on OK that's it it was so simple guys so this piece is also done very good this is how we do it we just select the subnet 00000000 gateway 137.1 port 2 10 enable that's the description and then click on OK so this piece is uh, done now access the 40 gate firewall over the serial SSH console and check the routing table now I want to teach you how do you see the routing table on the CLI okay so for that it says that access the 40 gate firewall over the serial or over the SSH console and get put these commands you know get router info routing dash table if you say question mark it will show you many options let's go with all once you go with all it will show you everything you know that these this is the default route these are the different directly connected route again question mark then another option is database over here database our database it shows you that yes you know there is a 0000000 is towards 192.168.137.1 another thing that you can do is that you know you can use the grep command so after doing that just give a pipe grep 0 .0 0.0.0.0 and once you do that 0 .0 0.0.0.0 it only shows you the default entries so that's all guys that 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 was an end of lab number four lecture number 12 
and what we have learned in this is that how do you configure physical interfaces on the 40 gig firewall in different vlans how do you give them ip addresses on both the web console as well as the cli console and how do you check interfaces on the cli what is the command for that how do you add route static default route from the web console and how do you check the routing from the cli console so that's all guys um thanks for watching this lecture number 12 thank you so much guys we'll continue in the next lecture uh just please subscribe to my channel guys please forward it to your friends please like my video leave some comments and uh, you can also learn a lot of other technologies in my channel take an example checkpoint firewall is all already there f5 videos are there ccn routing switching videos are also there so that's all guys have a wonderful day to all of you have a good day bye